when you work with the breath, trying to make the breath comfortable, you're showing goodwill for yourself. And traditionally, this is where goodwill begins, wishing for your own true happiness, and then acting on that wish. And then as you think about the issue of true happiness, you begin to realize if your happiness depends on the suffering of others, they're not going to stand for it. So you want to have some goodwill for others, too. In fact, you begin to realize that true happiness comes from within, so there's no conflict between your true happiness and the true happiness of anyone else. So it's easy to spread thoughts of goodwill without hypocrisy. But it's good to think about it. Is there anybody out there that you can't have goodwill for? And stop and think about what that would mean. Because will, good, will doesn't mean that you think they're going to become happy simply because you send them thoughts of goodwill. You realize that each person has to work on his or her own happiness through his or her own actions. So when you're wishing that somebody be happy, you're wishing that they understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. And that's a wish that's something you can wish for anybody, no matter how evil they may be, how harmful they may be. You wish that they would change their ways. Now there may be a few cases where you say, well, I'd like to see them suffer a little bit more, but then ask yourself, why? What would you get out of that? When other people are suffering, it's not the case that they respond wisely and realize they've been acting wrong and will change their ways. Sometimes they lash out and create more suffering around them. So we wish that all people be happy. Now whether they're going to be happy or not, that's going to be up to them. To whatever extent we can help, we're happy to help, but there's only so far we can go. But we want to make sure that at the very least the energy we put into the world is good energy. And the intentions on which we act are good intentions. Because if you have trouble having goodwill for somebody, then it's going to be very easy to mistreat that person. And then it becomes your own karma. So again, for your own true happiness, you want to have goodwill for everybody. And this doesn't naturally come out of our innate nature. Our innate nature is changeable. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good. It can change very fast. Which is why the Buddha said, goodwill is a form of mindfulness. It's something you've got to keep in mind all the time. Because incidents will happen, something very quick, if somebody cuts in front of you and, and on the highway. And it's very easy to think black thoughts about that person. But they ask yourself, well, why? What's gained by that? Nothing at all. And if that sort of little thing can set you off, imagine what bigger things can do. So you've got to be very careful. You have to keep this in mind all the time. Make that determination. That's another word that Bodhi uses for it. He said, this is a kind of determination. You make up your mind. You're going to have goodwill regardless. And then you remember to hold to that determination. And that way, the goodwill, the thoughts of goodwill, are not just simply nice, nice thoughts. They actually change your life. All for the better.